What's up, guys? I got a confession to make. The bike didn't actually start out rusted looking. That's right. I painted that rust. And if you want to find out how I did that, just keep watching. For the first step, I wanted to spray silver down so it looks like bare metal under the rust. And it's okay that these parts are two different colors. You won't even be able to tell that at the end. What matters is that you spray the silver really random and splotchy. To add to the pitted metal look, the next step I picked a really dark color. It was supposed to be black, but it ended up being like a dark, dark blue. But that's okay, I think it'll work. And I turned my air pressure way down and just like, you know, just hit it again in a random pattern. And what you want to do with this one is concentrate on the parts where you want the darkest, deepest pits of rust, like around welds and the edges and uh, bolt holes, stuff like that. This is where it really starts to get fun, adding runs and drips. Now, all I did here was mix a little burnt sienna and some water, because I'm using water base. But if you're using like urethane automotive paint, you can use reduce or just over reduce it, spray it through a spray bottle and let it dry or evaporate, whatever. Now I grab my airbrush and alternating between burnt sienna and burnt umber, really nailing those dark spots, make them look super pitted and deep, and adding some cool character like runs. And you'll even see I took some Scotch Bright and put some scratches in it, just like just mess this thing up. It really the more grungy you can make it, the cooler it looks. And up next is what I call the money color of the rust. You'll see. Now this is the color that really makes the rust. Yellow, orange, and burnt sienna. For this, you're gonna really, again, nail those dark pitted spots, but you're gonna put a halo around each, I guess what you'd call rusty spot. And really, man, this is the color. I looked it up on a, looking at reference photos, and that's a good idea too, to look at reference photos to get your idea of how you want your rust to look. And the ones I really liked had this like super orangey color. And in a second, I'll show you one side done compared to one side that's not done. And it's amazing the difference that this color makes. This is the money color if rust was to make you money. And if you're painting for somebody, it will make you money. Congratulations. You turned rust into money. I'm just kidding. Just keep watching. Okay, there's two more steps left to really bring those pits to life. Sounds like I'm talking about armpits. But if you notice, it's like a dark grayish blue color and then straight black with a brush, dab, 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 in the right dead center of the darkest, darkest pots, pots, spots. And voila. There you have a beautiful, rusty,
paint job if you think rust is beautiful. But the cool part is being able to trick somebody. And you could be done now. Like this could be clear coated with flat clear and really trick somebody thinking it's real rust. But we're gonna take it to the next level and add a pinstripe. 